Trap Politics TV, trappolitics.com. He is I and I am him. It's your boy Rel. Now let's begin. So a Florida judge handed down a sentence to a Dunkin' Donuts employee who didn't take matters lightly when a regular at the Dunkin' Donuts came into the establishment and started using offensive racial slurs at him. Apparently, the uh, customer didn't appreciate the service that he was getting and was complaining that he wasn't getting adequate service at all. So he decided to take matters into his own hands, walk into the establishment, and started to berate and degrade the employees. One of the employees didn't take lightly to that and assaulted the customer that walked into the store, leading to his death three days later. Now, the sentencing that came down wasn't as harsh as some would see, but to be honest with you, and this is just my opinion, I don't think he should have been sentenced at all. I think the case should have been dismissed once video footage proved, and as well as the employees corroborated the story, that the fact that you can't just antagonize, berate, and enrage someone to not think that people wouldn't lash out. Now, part of the sentencing was that the young man had to go through anger management as well as stay on house arrest for two years on top of completing 500 hours of community service. Now, it seems lenient to some, but you're taking time away from a young man who could possibly be able to do something better with his life with that time. But it seems that at the end of the day, no matter how the picture is painted, if you're black, you always will be considered the aggressor. It's your boy Ralph at TrapPolitics.com. Peace.